Hi, everybody. This is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week, we're going to continue our look on OS X Server, and we're going to look specifically at the Open Directory service that's built into Server. Now, you'll see that Open Directory is one of the advanced services uh, that is built into Server. Uh, you don't have to have an Open Directory to use Server. Uh, but Open Directory does uh, allow you to use something called network accounts instead of just local accounts. And it allows you to manage your users and things through the server itself. Now, uh, the difference between network and local accounts is this. Local accounts are tied to a particular machine. So that if I set up a, uh, an account on my Mac laptop, for instance, uh, I can't go into another Mac and use those same login credentials to log into a, an iMac or something else that I might have available. Uh, instead, I, my account is, a t is tied to that local computer. A network account allows me to uh, have an account that as long as I'm on my network, I can go to any Mac in that network and then log in using those accounts onto that machine. And depending on how I have it set up, I could even set it up to where my uh, actual desktop, if my home folders are stored on the server, actually shows up on that other Mac. So it does have some advantages to have an open directory. Uh, it also is required to use many of the services in OS X Server. Uh, things like Profile Manager needs Open Directory, uh, as well as um, if you're going to push settings to all of your users here, uh, they can do that manually, but if you want to push it through Profile Manager, you would need Open Directory set up. Uh, and then, if you again, if you wanted to manage what your users had access to, et cetera, and have them uh, have access to the server, you need to have an open directory in order to make that work. So, uh, you know, open directory is a, is a pretty nice feature that's built into server and something that you probably would, would want to set up. Now, before we set up uh, Open Directory, a couple of things. I always tell people if, uh, if you have, uh, have set up users already, once you set up Open Directory, those users that you set up before you set up Open Directory are only local user accounts. And so you would have to uh, basically delete those users and put them in again so that they could be network accounts on your Open Directory server. So uh, my suggestion would be just to follow this uh, screencast in line. Uh, that way you set up Open Directory first, then later put in your users, and you would have the network access uh, available. Available. That's an important thing. Uh, one more thing you need to make sure is working functionally uh, and, and right is DNS. And so if you haven't set up your DNS yet, I'd go back and take a look at the uh, screencast I did on DNS to make sure you have your DNS set up and running uh, properly. Because if it's not set up right, uh, Open Directory wouldn't work. In fact, if you wanted to, you could come into a Terminal here and you could test if your, open if your DNS is set up correctly. You just do, you know, a sudo uh, change IP. Uh, then space with a dash, check host name. And what you want to do is see success show up there, and that's what we've got, DR service success. So we know that at least uh, our DNS is set up right and we're ready to go. So let me just pop that down. Now the DNS, uh, the Open Directory service itself is pretty simple. You can see there's nothing we can do here except throw the switch. So we're going to throw the switch, and what will happen is it's going to walk us through a, uh, a wizard to help us set up our Open Directory. Now you have a few choices here at the beginning. We can create a new Open Directory domain, which is what we're going to do because we don't have one yet. Uh, you can join uh, an existing Open Domain as a replica. And so in other words, if this is a second server that you've got on a particular network, uh, you can basically create an Open Directory replica that will just replicate what's on that other server uh, in this Open Directory so that they basically uh, use the same Open Directory with one another and play off each other at the same time. Uh, or you can restore your Open Open Directory from a backup or an archive that you've set up. So we're going to create a new one because we don't have one yet. So we're just going to say next. And now what it's going to ask us to do is to set up a directory administrator account. Now this is different than the actual administrator account that you set up for uh, the actual uh, server hardware itself. This is one that will actually uh, get you into Open Directory and allow you to make changes to it. So again, this is one that you're going to want to remember. It's going to be different, but you want to set it up. So I'm going to use the same. Uh, I'm just going to leave the account name generic there. You can change that to whatever you want. And then you just create a password. So let me put that in real quick. Okay, now that I have that in, just uh, click Next. And so now it's going to ask for an organization name and admin email address. And so this is just information that will help users know that it's your server. So you can put in uh, whatever you want there or nothing. Um, I'll just put in... I'll just put in my name and let's just put in... Uh, you can put in an e email address. Okay, just like that. And then you say Next. And so it's saying, now I'm going to create an open directory master that has all of this information in it. 
And are you sure you want to do that? So we say yes, and we click Setup. And so now what it does is it goes through the process of actually creating your Open Directory Master. And so it's going to be setting that up. It, uh, you can, you'll be able, be able to see kind of what's happening here as you're watching the wheel turn. And so I'm going to let that get set up. It can take a little bit of time to uh, a little while, so just let it run. And when it's done, you'll see your Open Directory Master displayed in this area right here. So I'm going to let that run, and then I'll come back once, it, once it's done, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are with uh, our created uh, open directory. You can see that we have access here. The status has a green light. It's available at my uh, host name there. Uh, again, if there was a problem, you'd see a different color there, like red, that would let you know there's a problem. But right now, it looks like everything's good. You can see here is my uh, open directory master right here with the IP address of my server. And so everything looks like it's set up and, uh, and ready to go. Now, you'll notice, again, this is the settings area. I'm going to cover this in a little more detail. You've got this little locales area over here, and you can see I've got a default locale for all networks. If I was to edit that, uh, I could put in different client subnets uh, if I wanted to so that uh, the different subnets would connect to this specific server. You can see I've got my servers in there. If I had more than one server, I could add that in there. Again, these are just in situations where you might have multiple uh, you know, servers that are using Open Directory. So I'm just going to cancel that, but just wanted to show you that that's there. Let's go back to settings for a minute. Now down here I can add uh, another open directory uh, if I wanted to just by clicking the plus or I could actually destroy my open directory by clicking the minus here and this is uh, this basically would destroy your open directory and cause you to have to start over which means all your settings and things if you've created users or bound machines to your open directory those would be destroyed as well. Uh, if we come in here to the wheel now, though, you can see that I can actually archive my Open Directory Master if I want to. And what this is, is this allows me to create a backup of my Open Directory so that if anything ever goes wrong, I could actually restore uh, my Open Directory from this archive or this backup. And so basically, I would just choose uh, a, a file here, create a name for it, choose where I want to store it. I can even password protect it, and then it would create that backup for me. Uh, so that's something that you might want to do once you get everything filled in with your users and all of that is to go ahead and create an archive just in case something goes wrong. Then that way you're ready. Uh, Time Machine gives you a backup as well, but sometimes this is just a faster way to get set and, and, and get re, um, to get everything back to where you had it before. So I'm just going to cancel that. So that kind of shows you how, how that works. All right. And then if I had a replica here, I could actually promote that replica uh, to a master. Um, but I don't need to do that. Again, if I click the plus, it would have me actually add uh, a replica right there. And that's how I would actually go through the process of setting up that replica. But I'm going to leave that alone. So that kind of gives you an idea of how Open Directory works. And so now that we have Open Directory set up, now we can go through and begin to work through our users and begin to add things to this Open Directory. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.